campus teams all across the United States, as well as uh, I know we are competing against teams from North Korea, Poland, China, and um, uh, Mexico. So uh, it's a very big deal, and I am super proud. Uh, what? Um, I don't think we're competing against German teams, but there will be German teams there. So uh, I just want to take a moment to thank both the district and the board for supporting um, this program. It is such a good program. The team has to create every aspect of their problem solution themselves. They will actually be assessed penalties if they get any adult help from parents, coaches, teachers, whomever. So no matter how far they go in the process, they know that they have done 100% of the work um, to achieve what they've done. Um, let's see. Oh, I also want to point out, I have to brag about you guys. One third of their final score is based on a spontaneous surprise problem that they get at the tournament. And this year, this team got the highest score in the spontaneous problem for anyone else in their problem and division. So, um, does anyone want to talk about what we're doing this weekend to help raise funds for the team? It's okay, Ro. Yeah, come on over, Anthony. <clears throat> so first, um, on first Friday, we're going to be uh, fundraising by selling dollar ice cream uh, scoops from Stewart's. And I believe uh, Saturday, we're doing a car wash at the Malta Round Lake Fire Department. The new uh, firehouse at the yeah. Parade Ground Village. Yeah, tell them where the ice cream is Friday night. Where is um, we'll be in Wiswall Park, Wiswall Park for first Fridays. All right, so thank you very much. I hope that we can continue to support and grow this program. Um, obviously, this is our elementary school Division I team, but it's also a program that's available to Division II for middle school and Division III for high school. So I'm hoping that next year we will have even more participation. What is the nearest when the world's on? Would you guys go? Uh, the 23rd is when we're going to be leaving to go over to Michigan. All right. Cool, yes. Question. How much weight did your structure hold during your two competitions? Do you remember? Um, at regionals, it held 60 pounds, but then at states, uh, we held 185. Wow. Yeah, 186.5 is what I held. So, that's great. Good yeah, job. big improvement. So that's also a measure of our success, I feel like, is how we yeah. improve as we go. So. Thank you. Good job, guys. Yes. Well, congratulations, Thank and you, you should all be very proud of all the hard work that you have put into it, because you've truly earned it. Thank you. You did. Good job, guys. I think we're going to do a quick photo. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to do a photo. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. We'll Anything more for recognition? That concludes recognition. Okay, we are now at the time in our uh, agenda for the first period of public comment. Do we have anyone signed up for the first period of public comment? Just want to confirm? Confirm. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, next up is our student government report and our student government representatives, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. On April 21st, student government held a very successful leadership conference where multiple clubs and activities were represented. We began brainstorming ideas for the 2023-2024 school year and student government will have a meeting next week to discuss how the event went. The Middle School International Showcase and Community Projects was a huge success. Thank you to everyone who attended. Last Friday, Troop was honored to receive several, several nominations for the Proctor's Awards. Some of the nominations were Best Tech Execution, Best Student Pit, Best Ensemble, Peter Hinckley and Roman Mangino were honored for Best Supporting Male Actor. The awards will take place May 13th at Proctor's Theater. Tonight, the class of 2025 is holding a Panera Dine to donate, and on May 16th, they will be hosting an ice cream social in front of the high school. NHS is hosting their Touch a Truck event on Saturday, May 6th from 10 to 1 in the high school Gordon Creek Element at the Hor Gordon Creek Elementary School. Finally, the class of 2024 is hosting a spike ball tournament on May 24th. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, so yes, there's a lot of great events coming up. Please let's uh, all try and support them. And uh, again, you may be excused if we would so like. Next up is our approval of the minutes. I have a motion to approve the minutes of the April 19th, 2023 regular meeting. So moved. Second. Any amendments or additions? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Meetings for minutes for April 19th are approved. I have a motion to approve the minutes of the April 25th, 2023 special <coughs> meeting BOCES vote. So moved. Second. Any amendments or additions? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Minutes are approved for April 25th. Next is our superintendent's report. Uh, so tonight we have Brian Reddersdorf, who will be speaking on some highlights of the district music department. Mr. Reddersdorf? Good evening. Uh, my name is Brian Redderstorff. I am the K-12 Music Coordinator for the Boston Spa Central School District. Um, Dr. Duca, thank you very much for this opportunity to talk about our department and the multiple successes that we've had throughout the year, the program that we offer, and the growth of where we would like to see the program going. Um, Superintendent Duca, thank you. Mr. Furneaux and the Board of Education, thank you so much for your support, administrators, and the Boston Spa community. Um, all of these different logos up here are different activities or events or organizations that we are a part of. Uh, SWCMIA is our county organization. Near NISMA is our state organization. I'll get to the one, two in the middle. Suburban Council of Music is another organization that our teachers and district is a part of. TRIAM is our National Honor Society for Music. And the Capital Region Wind Ensemble is something that we have partnered with to have some of our students earn um, some opportunities to perform with them. And let's see if I hit the right button. Success. I already said what we're gonna do, so let's move on because I will talk forever and I'm gonna need somebody to cut me off because I do that at my concert with my kids. Um, department successes. This, I was gonna put at the end, but I really wanted to highlight a lot of the things that have really gone well for us this year. Starting with, we were just announced as a 2023 Best Communities for Music Education. There was 837 districts across the country that were nominated and accepted for this role and we were one of those out of 16,000 districts in the country. Um, and it's our seventh year in a row. The big part about this is I have to fill out a survey answering questions about all these different things, funding, instructional time, class participation, um, certified staff, who teaches our music classes in the district, our quality of instrument, and um, the opportunities that not only the school offers, which I will show, and the community offers as well. 
Um, there was 143 questions, nine short essays. It should have taken me a lot less time, but it took about four hours and a lot of coffee. So on to the next thing. Um, Troop, Katie Miller just mentioned that we uh, got nominated for six categories. Our record in the past was only two. Uh, we had been nominated in our first year of High School Musical Theater Awards for Best Musical for Adams Family and Best Student Pit Orchestra. This we always hope for, unexpected, extremely exciting. And actually today we had our first and only rehearsal with the cast to go over the final song again because, well, it's next week. Um, best Technical Execution, Best Student Band Pit Orchestra, Best Ensemble, Best Supporting Male Actor, Ram Roman Mangino, Best Supporting Male Actor, Peter, H Peter Hinckley, and Best Musical, Tier C. And that Tier C is based strictly on the budget that we have and spend on our show. Um, B and A, bigger districts typically have higher budgets for it. Um, so we are very fortunate um, where we lay in that. I think we have great opportunities in every single category to uh, do very well. Um, and not to brag a little bit because I'm a music guy, but I'm gonna brag about the music aspect. Um, almost our entire K-12 music staff is involved in this production. And uh, best technical execution, Mr. Bailey was our technical director. He had never done it. He has never done a light board except for pressing a couple buttons. And he jumped right in with the students, worked really well with them, it was an awesome opportunity. Best Student Band Pit, we have been nominated every year that we have done High School Musical Theater Awards. We had the largest pit in the, count, or in the uh, High School Musical Theater Awards. 90% of our pit is students. And they're not playing a dumbed down version of the books. These are the original Broadway national tour books that our students are playing, which to be nominated against so many schools that are now participating shows the caliber of our students, which I relate directly to the programs that we offer here and in the community. Um, incredible acting. They, um, we have Carpe Diem in the community. We have so many different theaters bark, and I truly believe that is attributing to our rise and success in our program. And uh, thank you to pr interim principal Rich Murphy and to Dr. Duca. The show has a higher rating, and it, it's a risk, it's a gamble. And we worked really hard and promised that we would bring it down a level to make it more, uh, I don't want to use the word appropriate, but more acceptable to everyone. And overall, no complaints. Everybody had a great time, incredible music, and the cast were phenomenal, crew and pit. Um, so thank you, and they will be Saturday, May 13th. Tickets are on sale starting today, so check that out at Proctor's. Student honors, back to Music in Our Schools Month back in March. I brought this up. We have 112 students that we recognized up here. Um, there were so many, I couldn't call them up individually, which I loved. Um, the fact that we had to change it because of such a high designation. 17 different honor ensembles, 24 students with two or more. That means they probably did all county orchestra, area all state, maybe suburban council. Band, area all state band, maybe suburban council. Um, eight elected positions for our Triumph Music Honor Society and 141 designations total. Newly created was our Boston Spa Friends of Music. This is something that most of the suburban council schools had and a long time ago we had supporter of the fine arts and we decided it was time to bring it back. We had so many parents who are interested in helping and supporting our students. Um, so over the summer we did all the paperwork, got them to approve for a 501c3 charity and we were incorporated in August and they've already set up for six music scholarships for this year at $100 a piece. Volunteers for music festivals, which this, wow, a little dry mouth here. This past weekend, we did the Suburban Council Music Festival. We had over 300 students in the district from 16 different districts, four incredible ensembles, middle school band, middle school orchestra, high school jazz, and high school choir. Absolutely breathtaking music. I wish all of you were able to make it. And our staff and students were incredible hosts for them. Thank you to my team, they were amazing. Thank you to all of our guest chairs, the guest conductors that came in, who absolutely loved all of our facilities. Um, the auditorium, the sound, the lighting, all of our rehearsal rooms, no complaints. The technology, our improvements with the smart, or the ViewSonics and our sound system. So thank you to everybody who helps approve that for us. Um, they're doing things like helping out with middle school music awards is a new thing they would like to start doing, summer lessons, and support the music department 
in any way that we need outside of our fiscal budget here. Um, speaking of facility upgrades, we got brand new lockers this year. They look absolutely incredible. Um, thank you again, Mr. Sirianni and everybody who helped make that possible. Uh, we had the original 1998 lockers um, from back way back when, and the kids love it. It raises the enthusiasm. It makes it exciting to walk into that room and see it so different with this upgrade. And um, it makes this instrument safer. The kids can close it. They can lock it. Not that that's ever an issue for us, but um, they look absolutely beautiful. And let's see, I'm falling behind on my pages here. Um, also some new things that we got this year, we upgraded some of our instruments. We got some new tenor saxophones, a couple of trombones to fill our needs. And we are now again at a one-to-one -one ratio with instruments to students, which is absolutely incredible. That is huge for us and more importantly, it's huge for our students who really benefit from us being able to support them like that because not every student can pr provide their own instrument. So thank you again for your support there. Programs and offerings. This is what we offer. Elementaries, K-5, we offer general music, 45-minute classes to every student. And then 6 through 12, we offer band, choir, orchestra at each level. Um, eighth grade, it becomes a high school credit class. And then we offer two levels at the high school, a lower level, a fourth and fifth NISMA level, and then a higher level, a five and six NISMA level, six being the highest. Um, something we've changed this year is that each group at the top level will be by audition. Something that we're really trying to promote this, you have to earn your way, you have to really want it. It's not just a gimme that you're going to be in the top level group. And we want those kids to have a home where they can really feel pushed. Just like we have IB, we have AP classes. We want this, these classes to be a spot for those kids who really want to be pushed forward. Um, general music classes at the 612 level, we offer 6th, 7th grade general music, and then at the high school we offer CHS Music Fundamentals 1, Intro to Theater, and Intro to Acting. Something that Mrs. DeRagan, Tracy DeRagan, who retired after 26 years in the district, um, brought in was because our schedule all goes at the same time for the ensembles, there was no way for a kid to do band and choir, orchestra and choir at the same time. And as much as we loved our band and orchestra numbers going on the rise, we saw a big decline in our choir numbers. So she came up with this, that on every B day, we have a four day rotation, any kids in band and orchestra can go join the choir. And then any kid that wants to be in the jazz band, they can also come join us at the high school level. And it was a way of bringing the jazz band back into the school day, back when the schedule used to be eight periods a day, now it's six blocks a day. Um, we have found a way to get those kids back during the school day and it's been incredible. My jazz band has 25 at the high school jazz level. The sub jazz level concert jazz has 22 kids in it. Our festival choir numbers almost double the size of our regular choir once they join. And it just raises the opportunities and experiences for everyone. These are all the performances and ensembles and honor groups and community events that we do in a single year. Um, number of ensembles you can see over there in the fives. Uh, all the different honor festivals, our extracurricular music, we have middle school jazz done by Mr. Veglia, absolutely incredible. We have a, a elementary practice group with our new music teacher, Gina Mancini, our troop pit orchestra, which had 27 students in it. Community ensembles, we actually have some of our high school students go and perform with the Boston Spot Community Beat, Saratoga Youth Symphony. I can go through all of these, but at the end of the day, there's 43 music events, 38 different ensembles within the district, and then there's a total of 69 ensembles that students can participate in a given year. Um, sometimes we have our high school students go and perform with the other grades to kind of make it a nice, fun experience for them. And then back with Music in Our Schools Month, we did a survey for our 912 students to show, I wanted to know what do they do? I know they do a lot. I do a lot, they do a lot, and they tell me they can't do things and I can't do things, and I wanted to know why. What are you guys doing? This. Um, 135 participate in sports, um, hundreds, I love the community service, 171, 199 have more, one or more designations, whether it's principal role, um, double, by literacy, uh, what's the seal? Civic readiness. Um, our kids are involved, our kids are very active, and not just in sports, but in theater, in jobs, in so many different areas, and we are just grateful that they still find time to be with us, especially when there's other things that they can choose to do. 
And um, out of this whole list, there's only 39 that study privately. But yet we had 112 get designations this year. So that tells me it's not only the student work, but the staff that we have here and the way they interact and motivate and encourage and inspire our students. Moving on. Uh, this is the month of May. So when people say, hey, we have an opportunity for you this month, I kindly say, thank you, but we can't. Um, literally almost every, actually every weekend is full. Okay. Um, I didn't tell my wife that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we have concerts at every level. Our high school students in Tri-M, the Honor Society, come down and help out at every concert. Uh, can you imagine herding cats? Now do that with each ensemble at the <laughs> elementary level. They are phenomenal with it. Um, our budget vote night, high school varsity concert, we call it senior recognition night, uh, just like I do with soccer. And um, back when I first started, there were eight seniors that graduated in the band program. There were only eight students that moved from eighth grade band to freshman band. This year we have 42 seniors in band. We have a total of 87 seniors in the music program. We're doing something right. And it comes truly from your support. And parents at home, it comes from your support. Um, I have a slide coming up in a couple, actually I'll jump to it now. Um, you need a study hall. No, you don't. Uh, these are all the valedictorians, salutatorians from the last few years. We've had seven valedictorians. We've had six salutatorians that have been in the music program. And this year, seven out of 10 in the top 10 are in the band program. Woo woo, that's me. I can't take any of the credit though, it's all them. Um, one is in choir and then, I don't know about the other two, I'll find out more. Going back, I figured this out, that's fun. Um, so we're busy, and we love being busy. All those events, by the way, are after school or on the weekends. Those are not during the day. Um, our music teachers stay after school every day. You will not find a time when you walk in after school from 2.30 to 3.30, you will not see a student without a teacher practicing their vocal parts, practicing their music parts, working on NISMA solos, preparing for college auditions, which by the way, we have two students who are going to Crane Music School this year, which we are truly, truly excited about. One who's going into the Fashion Institute, um, Fashion Institute, FIT, and then um, another one who just got into Hofstra, double majoring, and the other major is gonna be theater performance. So we have a lot of students really finding success here. How does it help you? We bolster college admissions. Um, activities like playing an instrument can bolster college admissions, ensemble essays, recommendations, test scores. I called these different colleges and I talked to their admissions and I said, so this is up on your website, but tell me more. And I didn't tell them I was from the music department. I just said, I wanna find out what it is. And each one of these said that they find value in the humanities, they work both sides of the brain, problem solving, coming from different viewpoints, different angles and they all have different scholarships that I, they are offering for people in humanities. Um, my favorite scholarship is in the arts and humanities, Harvard and Yale. They're actually four humanity-driven specific medical scholarships. So people with uh, piano backgrounds, music backgrounds, vocal backgrounds, finding empathy in what they do and the people that they work with. Um, a person I went to college and high school with played piano all my life, he played piano all his life. I didn't play piano, that was a mistake. And um, he went to dental school, he's now a dental surgeon, and he was one of the top in his class, and you could take a tomato and peel the entire outside without nicking the flesh. And they said it was because of his French horn playing, guitar playing, bass playing, and his piano playing. So they are looking for the musicians, those, the those theater majors, the art majors. It's out there and I'm glad that Boston Spa supports all that. I think I'm getting a look so I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Um, I do have to mention U Albany, big, big, big push to double the size of their pep band right now. They're offering scholarships, they're offering come on down, see what we do days. Uh, Clarkson, we had a student do all four years, get half of their tuition, I think, paid with uh, scholarship money. St. Lawrence, we had another student up there, the RPI pep band, talk about a rivalry. When those two kids saw each other, that was amazing. Um, and there's perks, you get free admission to events, you get to join the teams on trips, and of course, my favorite scholarship money. Um, back to this, lots of success, but outside of our top 10, Josh Torrey, many years ago, studied actually with Ken DeReagan, Tracy's husband, 
uh, is a professional trombonist composer out in Chicago and with the famous Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. Emmy Alter Emma Altieri was in choir. She did troupe and she is now doing East Coast regional productions all up and down the East Coast, all the way to Ohio and down to Florida. Uh, Darcy has been all over the place in New York City. She's doing TV, she's doing Broadway, off-Broadway, um, trapezist. And then I remember she did Barnum with Lori Larson, now Lori Huck, and for that show they brought in circus members who taught them how to do the different magic tricks and I think I'm assuming maybe that's where a little bit of that love comes from. I'd like to think so. Um, finally, a vision for the future. Uh, back in 2019, when I first took over this role, um, Ken Slentz came up to me and said, this is gonna be on your radar, take a look. And we didn't really talk about it ever since. Sure enough, two years ago, it's being piloted along with the 2017 newly updated uh, New York State assess uh, Standards for Arts, Music, Dance, and Theater. and this program, which offers a Regents credit for students in art, dance, music, and theater. There's a four plus one graduation pathway. We would be in that plus one range. And we wouldn't really have to change what we already do here. And that's the best part of it. We already offer the classes and the courses that could make this possible. We just have to do a little tweaking and work to do some curriculum development over the next couple of years. But Pilot school saw increased attendance. Students that often are at risk that are in music programs sometimes will only go to school for that program and then leave, or art for that day and leave. And this is a way of keeping those kids in school, finding a pathway for them to graduate, which is the absolute most important thing. Leave high school with some kind of a degree so you can go out there in the real world and do something. And this is an incredible opportunity for our students to do something with something they already do and to earn uh, a pathway to graduate. So this is our goal, and I'm doing my administrative degree right now, and I actually I've made this my project for this whole administrative process. And this is just one slide of many that I have done on many late nights after putting the kids to bed at 8 p.m., and then Noah staying up till 9, and then 9.30, and he still won't go to bed at 10, so then I'm finishing up at 2 a.m., but I love you, Noah, and I know you're watching this right now. Um, and God bless my wife, she's home with two sick boys right now, so thank you, Megan, for everything you do. But um, this program, I think, is gonna be really beneficial. We have a game plan, we have a pathway to make it ha happen, and I think, truly, it's gonna benefit, most importantly, our students. Um, and that is it. So, are there any questions? Sorry for talking your ear off. Yes? Just one thing, thank you very much. Great presentation. Always happy to hear what's happening in K through 12. And I just wanna say, that's so fetch. <laughs> I've been dying for an opportunity to throw that in there in conversation. I, I couldn't pass it up. And we're still we're still throwing it out, and the kids are still throwing it back at us. All the different sayings and stuff. So, um, now, not much a question, but much more of a comment. Uh, I just wanted to say how much joy it brings me to hear that student to instrument ratio. Uh, you know, I understand how important music and music education is, and to be able to provide that opportunity to all our students, no matter their background, it, it's just an amazing thing. So, thank you. Well, and that comes from our administration and the district office and everybody's support. So, thank you. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, so much for this opportunity, and have a great night. I don't believe we have any. And so then correspondence. Uh, Dr. Duga, correspondence to the district. Uh, we had three uh, emails to the district, uh, one on student discipline matter, uh, one for election information, and one on the school calendar, and we had a phone call regarding a student discipline matter. Okay, since the last meeting, correspondence to the board, we received six new emails. There were three regarding the board's decision on resolution 515 from last week's meeting. One opposed to the decision, two in favor. We had one regarding school safety online learning program. We had one regarding the middle school community project and international presentation event. And we had one praising the middle school staff and specifically the middle school guidance counseling staff for their support of a student. what we had for correspondence. 
Announcements, Mr. Williams. Thank you. They, they did a really good job tonight before I got up here covering almost everything that I had on this piece of paper. But it's so, always good to reinforce so the days and I was, times. I was prepared, but everybody's doing a great job. That's how we get information out. So just a couple quick things. They do have the, the first Friday night event coming back this year. It's something we haven't been able to do in the last couple of years. So we do have six or seven locations downtown. Um, most of them already have the artwork installed, so it is there and it will be there throughout the day and in, in the weeks coming up. Um, but there are a couple special events, so if you, you check, it's on our website as well as the, the Downtown uh, Business Professional Association's website. Um, they have updated the, the flyer a couple times as they add more events. Um, but the information's on there, and, and they have included the OM team on there as well, which has been really nice for them to include that um, as part of the, the art event. Um, on Monday night, we will host the Candidates Information Night here. Um, so again, the three of you are running for the board, so you're going to come and, and give us your, your best shot and then why people should vote for you. And uh, the high school students are going to run the event. They've come, they've come up with a couple of their own questions that they'll be utilizing. Um, so we'll, we're hoping it'll be within an hour, um, but that'll be at 6.30 on Monday night here in the library for folks that, that want to learn more about the candidates. Um, I mentioned before the, the 5K is coming up and our, our Health and Wellness Day on May 13th. Everything is up and running for all the registrations, the volunteer information. Um, the biggest thing now is we just need people to, to sign up for either the, the 5K and for the kids run. People wonder if they, they need to sign up for that. It's a free event for all kids. We usually get two or 300 kids there, but they need to know how many t-shirts to order ahead of time. So it's helpful if, you, if you're in any of the groups and talking about it, bringing your own kids or, or other kids, um, just have them sign up. They go in there. It's, it's pretty quick on the, on the website. They can follow the links from there. Um, and I would just mention the, the budget vote um, is obviously coming up on May 16th, and we'll be here um, from 7 to 9 in this room, and we'll also have the Malta Town Hall for the folks in Malta that vote at Malta. Um, we will have some of the school, bar, school Pride Day events also occurring at the same time. We'll be getting that schedule out soon and adding that to the website as we go forward through the next two weeks. And your next meeting will be the night after on May 17th. So, thank you. I have one question. Um, usually, is it the teaching assistants that usually do the Brooks Barbecue? Yes. How can you purchase tickets? I have the flyer right here. Awesome. So thank you very much. Yeah, it has on there where you can purchase tickets via any teaching assistant in the district or by emailing, and there's a, uh, an email address on that as well. It says dinners are pre-sale only. Proceeds benefit the BSATA scholarship fund. Any other announcements from board members? <coughs> Old business. Not hearing any, let's move on to new business. I have a motion to approve resolution number 532, appointment of election inspector. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Resolution number 532 passed. Yes. Resolution number 533, reorganization meeting. So we need a correction in the uh, resolution. Do we have to have it motioned first? Yes, we do. Okay, may I have a motion to approve resolution number 533, reorganization meeting? So moved. Second. Uh, for discussion, yes. the motion right now, or excuse me, the resolution right now reads that the reorganization meeting of the Boston Spa Central School District mm -hmm. for the 2022-2023 school year shall be held on Wednesday, July 12th, 2023, and that should really be the 2023-2024 school year. We have to do anything else to accept the correction. Okay, so then just everyone please understand we're voting on a corrected resolution references next school year, the 2023-2024 school year. <coughs> any other discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Resolution number 533 passes. I have a motion to approve resolution number 534, coronavirus response and relief 
Supplemental Appropriations Act. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Resolution number 534 passes. I have a motion to approve resolution number 535, establish award. So moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Resolution number 535 passes. And we'd like to thank the Boston Spa Friends of Music Award uh, organization. That's what uh, Mr. Reddersdorf had just referenced before supporting our music department and community. I have a motion to approve resolution number 536, award of bid floor finishing. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Resolution number 536 passes. We have a motion to approve resolution number 537, placement of students with disabilities. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Resolution number 537 passes. We have a motion to approve resolution number 538, placement of preschool students with disabilities. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Resolution number 538 passes. Resolutions number 539 through 550 are recognized as a consent agenda for the purpose of Board of Education action. May I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Resolutions number 539 through 550. So moved. Second. Any discussion? I'd just like to point out that we do have a resignation for purpose of retirement in here. Ms. D'Agostino has over 40 years worth of work in uh, the educational field, and I believe it's 25, 26 with us? 20 with us. 20 with us, and um, we just want to call that out. We look forward to um, honoring all of our retirees at the end of the year. Any other comment? Jason, Discussion. I just wanted to mention that um, Sharon D'Agostino was principal throughout my son's entire tenure at Malta Avenue, and um, I'm just, I am immensely proud of the education he received there under her leadership and just wanted to personally thank her for her service. Thank you for your comment. Any other discussions? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? The consent agenda, resolutions 539 to 550 passes. Do we have any other new business? Not hearing any. We are at the time in our agenda for the second public comment period. Do we have anyone signed up for the second public comment period? We do not. So we are at the time for um, announcements from our uh, supporting groups. Our high school PTSA, please welcome. I think that's the earliest I've ever gotten up here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just want to say that we have our my very last meeting tomorrow night for the as president of the PTSA. I just want to thank everyone who has been ever involved in any of the events that I've handled. Um, it's just been an amazing experience and I hope you guys are happy with <laughs> what's been going on too. Um, so we have our last meeting tomorrow night, um, May 4th at 7 p.m. in room 216. Um, you took all my thunder with the dates for events, but Saturday, May 13th is again the Scotty Stampede and the Wellness Expo, and this year we were able to contribute um, two bicycles and two helmets to raffle off to the kids. They're being displayed over in Milton Terrace. Um, 
and this is going to be happening, I guess, at the Woodrow Complex. Uh, we're still putting out feelers to get help for uh, the after prom party on June 3rd into the morning of the 4th. We have a sheet out there on our website. We've also sent out many emails and ways to contact us. Please um, try and help us that night. It takes a whole village to, <laughs> to put on that event. So any help is greatly appreciated. We do have a lot of donations um, for the prizes for the seniors. We also uh, have all the food has been donated. <laughs> We haven't even had to try and order anything extra. It's been fantastic. Um, we've also had the DJ donated as well, and we really appreciate that. Um, as far as other events, um, the senior drive-in night that we put on is going to be Tuesday, May 30th. I heard that the Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be the movie that night kind of wish I was still a senior, but I may sneak in. I know people. <laughs> um, we still have funds available uh, that we offered to student government last year on any kind of student-led initiatives that might, I don't know, involve uh, mental health, um, having speakers come in, um, drug prevention speakers. Um, so we're putting that out there again for any of the student-run governments, um, also to the staff and administrators at the school if they want to contact us. And we do have some extra funds. We're supposed to be a not-for-profit. Not we have had amazing donations in the last couple of years, so we're willing to use that for whatever you feel um, would be good for the students. With all of that said, we're uh, looking for officers for next year because I'm leaving. I know Misha as treasurer, she's leaving, although she is interested in moving positions to vice uh, president. So that's great that she'll be hanging in there. But my senior's going this year, so <laughs> I will be around to help anyone that wants to get involved. Uh, we put the note out today to the parents in the administrative blast on how to contact me to talk about the position if you're afraid of it, if you think it's too much. It is a lot, but, and I'm not gonna tell anybody different because when I came in, I was told, oh, you have three meetings and that's it, but that's not my level of commitment to the school, so it was <laughs> a lot for me, but it was so rewarding. And just to help out these kids and the parents and the families and the school, it has been wonderful, so. Anyone's interested, you know how to contact me. That's it. And thank you very much, and thank you very much for all your years of service as president. Um, oh, the thanks. high school PTSA has been able to do a lot of wonderful things over the last uh, few years, and we very much thank you for your support. Thank you. I'll still be around. <laughs> uh, any other PTA? Uh, just a couple things. Uh, Woodroad PTA is looking for volunteers to sign up and help during next week's spring book fair. Uh, Gordon Creek PTA is planning a staff appreciation lunch for the Gordon Creek staff on May 11th. Tacos will be provided by the Tacos Flacos food truck. And I was looking at the post before that they were looking for more donations, but it appears that they've all been pretty much filled up. I think there's just a one fruit tray left that is looking to be donated. So. And then uh, middle school PTA has uh, sent out a link for the spring apparel sale. Thank you. And again, we thank all of our PTAs for the, and PTSA for the support that they provide our students in all of our schools. Uh, parents, please uh, sign up to help volunteer and, and support those organizations. And I don't think we have any of our association leaderships here for comment. Okay. Then uh, we do have reason to go into executive session. The board will not be returning to open session. I need a motion to adjourn to executive session to discuss the employment.